The latest on the nine-year-old boy who exposed a huge lapse in airport security. He snuck into a flight from Minneapolis to Las Vegas. New details this morning on how he did it and why. ABC's Rena Ninen is here and has the latest for us. Good morning, Rena. Good morning to you, Robin. Overnight, we're learning so much more about that crafty nine-year-old boy defying TSA and Delta officials, taking that headline-making free solo flight. The Star Tribune reporting this morning that the boy may not have worked alone, that his mother works at the airport, and there is now an investigation into if she helped him get on that plane to Las Vegas. I think he's a little con artist. He arrived at the airport Thursday by train, alone, and then went through security at 10.30 a.m. without even showing a ticket. He went to the gate, talked to an agent briefly, before waiting until the agent was distracted. He then quickly made his move and slipped onto the airplane undetected. You know, as tight as security is in the airports today, for that to happen is just complete negligence. Authorities say the boy mentioned having a video game buddy who lives in Las Vegas that he wanted to visit. Delta flight attendants were the ones to discover he was alone, alerted authorities to meet them at the gate. He was immediately taken into custody by Child Protective Services. Today, ABC News has learned he is still in their custody, and there's a hearing on whether to authorize his return to Minneapolis. ABC affiliate KTNV reports authorities have put a GPS tracking bracelet on the child to make sure he doesn't slip away again. We now know the parents reportedly never filed a missing persons report. This also isn't the first time he's caused trouble. Minneapolis police say he stole a vehicle last week and has also snuck into water parks without paying. But TSA continues to investigate. Yeah, because this time the prank, much too much. Much, much. Uh, ramped it up a bit yeah, here. Yeah, <laughs> All right, Rina, thank you. Thank you, guys.